I'm Julie Peterson. I'm Ron Peterson. And we purchased a house in Southern Maryland about six years ago and started searching for a church, but we still were living in Montgomery County. So we went back and forth and then COVID happened. When we permanently moved here about a year and a half ago, we decided that we would come back to peace and make our decision. Although we're still members at the church in Gaithersburg, we were also associate members here. We were both raised in the church and met in our 20s in the Lutheran Church in Denver. I went to Lutheran College, Capital University, Columbus, Ohio. I've been pretty much a lifelong Lutheran. When I graduated from college, started looking for an ELCA church and found the church that we were at. Julie's story is a little different. I was raised in a non-denominational country church. It was all hellfire and damnation, and I went to college and said I was never going back. When I got out of college and moved to Denver, I called my mother and I said, I need something stable. I think I need to find a church. She was raised a Lutheran, so she said, go find a Lutheran church. And so short story is I went to Lutheran church. Pastor called me on Wednesday night and said, choir is at seven o'clock. I expect to see you here. So I have been there ever since. And we met on a ski trip with this group of people and we've been together ever since. All of our journeys have involved the Lutheran Church as an anchor. Well, I grew up that way, and it was just an expectation, and we did that with our kids. Here's your allowance. 10% of it has to be done. That was just where I grew up. It was always just do the offering. That's an expectation. I've evolved as I've grown. For me, the fundamental message of the church is grace. It's not a, I have to do, but it's a joyful response to the gift we've been given. It's, 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 it's I want to, to see the, the mission of the church, to see the things they can accomplish, to have music, fellowship, outreach, charity work. Those all come out of what you provide to the church so you can turn those resources around. That's where I come from. I, I don't know that we've ever personally talked about it. Even though I was raised in a different church, it was still an absolute expectation, especially in a small country church, that you supported it both financially, but with time and talents. And I think my mother was the treasurer of that church for probably 35 years. She couldn't do anything else because she was a woman, but she could do that. Um, <laughs> but I think being raised, that there's an expectation that you, you don't just go to church and leave. You give what you can with your time, whether if you have abilities to do things, you, those are the things you give on top of financial. And for me, the financial portion is playing off what you just said. You can't expect a church to achieve the mission. I look at what the mission of the church is. You can't achieve that mission if somebody's not fundamentally supporting it with money. You can't just say, oh, I liked that sermon today, I'll give a little more. That's not how it works. <laughs> the lights have to stay on. They have to be able to support other groups and people in need. And those people in need aren't going to be able to financially support the church. So I think we have been blessed that we haven't really had tough financial times. And it's our duty, if I'm asking for the community that I look for, it's our duty to support that community. Oh, I think it's all one big package. <laughs> My thing has always been that you can have a conversation with God anytime. You don't have to set aside time for prayer. Your whole day should be a time that you can just have a conversation with God. Our adult children were raised in the church. Our daughter is now back to teaching a preschool class, and our grandchildren love going to Sunday school. It's exciting to see that this has gone full cycle and is a part of their being. It's, fun. it's part of who I am fundamental. It's, and uh, again, uh, coming from the grace aspect of Christ died on the cross, but if I can't hold that to myself, so if I am not helping forward that message, that word, it's selfish. So just giving back on that, it's a response. It's, you know, thank you.
I think for one thing, it's so easy to do now. You can set up and just have it automatically withdrawn. You don't have to give everything. Give what you feel comfortable with. It does grow. I think you can always give more. I used to say that when you scheduled a meeting and you had a speaker and they and you didn't charge for it, people didn't show up. Mm-hmm. But if you charge five bucks, people would show up because they knew they paid for that event. And I think if you make a commitment, a financial commitment, it's not just a financial commitment. You're thinking, well, if I'm going to do this, I need to follow through with my time and with my being there. And I've made a commitment to this. And I think it makes a difference. I hate the Starbucks analogy, but <laughs> think about how much you pay at Starbucks for a cup of coffee. It doesn't take a lot to donate to the church. Well, I would go on that. Tithing is, consistency is more important than amount, in my opinion. It's figure out what you can, what you, in my case, like I said, the thank you, the reward. Um, I think tithing, the word tithing scares people because it's a mountain, right? So just start where you're at as you can. Evaluate that. But it's the consistency, the commitment, the saying thank you every morning when you get up, you know, that kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. And the commitment side, you have a meeting, you have the person who paid for this. It's fair to have the church be able to plan because it doesn't just happen. There's a building, lights, personnel, the food bank, whatever. I'll give, but I'm going to give every week. I'm going to figure out what that is. It is unfair to the, the organization. That's not the Christ side of grace, but for the operational side, it's, if you can commit, then that allows things to be planned and, and worked out.